we pray, God answers prayer. Yes. I'm talking about, I want to put canes and wheelchairs on the wall because you came to the house now. Deliverance up in here. Read it, read it. Read, read, read. For the preacher was made subject to vanity, uh -huh. not willingly, but, re but by reason of him who hath subjected the same in hope. Uh huh. Because the preacher himself also shall be delivered <coughs> from the bondage of corruption into the glorious liberty of the children of God. Come on, talk. For we know that the whole creation groaneth and travaileth in pain together until now. Until now. And not only they, but ourselves also. We all want God children to come up forward. Read the Bible. I want, to, I want to get to a spiritual part before I close. Which have the first fruits of the Spirit. Uh huh. Even we ourselves grown within ourselves, waiting for the adoption. To take with. To wit the redemption of our body. Right. Wait for the adoption to come in place. Come on, read. For we are saved by hope, but, both, but hope that is seen is, is not hope. hope. Uh huh. For what a man seeth, why, why do he, he hope for? Why do you hope for something that you can see? Why are you hoping for something that you already got? That ain't hope. Read. But if we hope for that, we if we hope for what we can't see, then do we with patience wait do, for it? Then do patience we wait for Read. Come on. Likewise, the Spirit also helpeth our Now, no, 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 no. This, this is the point where I want you to understand here, carry on. Likewise, the Spirit helpeth our infirmities. Infirmities mean place where we are weak. Place where we can't feel like we can't read. But we know not what we should pray for as we are. But the Spirit itself maketh it, make it intercession for us with groanings which cannot be uttered. Alright, that's what I need you to hear. That's all I want you to read the whole thing, but I'm going to show you this. So, read that, that one verse over again. But the Spirit itself maketh intercession for us. Go back. Likewise, we don't know what we pray for. Likewise, the Spirit also helps us our infirmities, but we know wait, not what we wait, should pray spirit. for. This is what happens when the Holy Ghost come on you the first time. The Spirit helps your weakness. It helps where you are not strong enough. And how it helps, we don't know what to pray for. You don't know what to pray for. You don't know what to pray for. You can't know what to pray for. Go ahead. Because there's so much in you it's so much bottled in you. It's things that need healing from a long time ago. My, 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 I ain't none of y'all listening to me. But the reason why you are the way you are today is because you ain't forgave your mama 29 years ago. You ain't forgave your daddy for what he did to you 30 something odd, 40 something odd years ago. You, you got stuff bottled in you that you done lived a life till you got numb to it. Amen. You done got numb to it and lived your life no matter what. Some of you suffered the death of your parent at a young age. And you ain't never got an answer far from God. By God, I feel the Holy Spirit speaking to you right now. You don't understand why God did it to you. All you know you had to do is live with it. You don't forget about it. I've lived my life now. Some of you have been mistreated, abused. Confused. You don't know what to pray for. But the Spirit, the Bible said, it searches all things. Even the deep places. 
the Spirit of God will go through you like a lightning bolt, finding the cracks and the corners of your mind, searching the ends and the outs of your vision and what you see. It goes back in time. So. From the day you was born to the present day now, the spirit searches. Searches you. Yes, sir. Go ahead. Now watch this. Read, read the text. We read, read from the uh, read from the middle. Uh huh. Good. For we know not what we should pray for as we are. But the Spirit itself making intercession for us for Watch groanings this. which cannot be uttered. Say that again. For the Spirit itself maketh intercessions for us with groanings which cannot be uttered. Say that again. The Spirit itself maketh intercessions for us with groanings which cannot be uttered. Say that again. <laughs> the Spirit itself maketh intercessions for us with groanings which cannot be uttered. Yes. You can't say what the Spirit got to say to God. All right. All right. That's right. Go ahead. All right. Yes, sir. Go ahead. Read it again. But the Spirit itself makes an intercession for us with groanings which cannot be uttered. So when the Spirit come back to God after He has searched you, mm -hmm. uh -huh. you don't know how to explain to God why you act the way you act, why you say what you say, why you do what you do, why you go where you go. Why you think the way you think, why you perceive the way you perceive, why, why you look the way you look, why you act the way you smile the way you smile, why you walk the way you walk, you talk the way you talk. You don't uh -huh. know why you're doing it, but the Spirit of God done searched all things, and he got to speak to God in the Yes! He got to speak to God in a language that cannot be uttered. Yeah. It can't be uttered in the English language. It can't be uttered in Spanish. It can't be uttered in Greek. It can't be uttered in Zimbabwe. It can't be uttered. It gotta be spoken in a language that God can understand. in the 
back.